sorry if that popped. I think I think we're on in live. How exciting. Right. I'll put a little filter on the front of this uh, camera. Should get rid of the reflections for us. Yeah, maybe I can brighten that up a bit. Let's have a little look. That's pretty much there. Uh, be a little cooler. Brighten it up a bit. There we go. So I'm just adjusting now to the um, to it staying lighter outside, which is a bit of a surprise. <laughs> Didn't notice that creeping up. So I might have to start things earlier or later. But that will be. This is good. Right. I need to plug in this um, this iPad, which is what I'm working from. for um, a battery to recover. <laughs> that would be amusing. Uh, yeah, well, welcome back. Um, I'm going to try and finish this tonight. Actually, I'm going to change the number for that. It's a bit more like my eye height now. Um, yeah, uh, I've been trying not to think about it too much in the week, so I can come back and, um, yeah, approach it with a certain freshness, I hope. Um, I don't like the background, it's too tight, it's too flat, but it's a solid layer of paint now, which means I can work over the top of that. Um, uh, yeah, so um, I've kept the palette pretty much. I may have done another painting on this during the week, I can't remember. 
Um, but I can still see some of the colours I was using last week, so that gives me a, a starting point. Uh, and I've got to try and think about sort of the textures and the feeling, and it's really this sort of, well, I suppose it's a sort of a heart shape, or an oval if you like. This little circle here, that's the journey of, you know, our, our eyes travelling in. Um, everything outside of that can remain loose or even be made looser. Uh, and it needs to tighten up into, into this area. Um, so, yeah, that's where the focus is. And ultimately it's about the eyes. Um, so, yeah, the trickiest thing, I think, is going to be there is a, a smile in, in the eyes behind the mask. And I think that's it's that, it's that bit of humanity behind this mechanism, if you like, of, you know, this, uh, this big organisation is people. So that's really what I want this to say. Uh, so yeah, before I do too much, I do want to put some warmth in and the, the focus is also going to be controlled by the presence of warm colours, which are around the, sort of the smile and the nose. And also, I've got to creep a few in behind that mask, that's very grey here. And in the mask itself, I think perhaps that's, that's you know, there's, there's a sort of a, a colour theme going on there. Um, and I might do a little bit of blazing today, I might sort of get get the oil working a bit and uh, see what I can do with that. Hmm. I'm not going to rush this. There's a... Uh, yeah, there's quite a few things to pay attention to here. Get rid of some lumps of paint from last week. And uh, I'm just going to take my time getting into this. got any questions or thoughts or anything to share then um then yeah please do volunteer them i hope you can hear me okay oh that's gone off I hope if that was on it's a bit better okay so i might need to adjust the cameras as, as the as the sky gets darker we'll see we'll see what happens um, I've got a couple of brushes and some white spirit here. There was me thinking I was all prepared. Oh no, that's alright, that's pretty clean. What others am I going to need? I've got a couple of new ones there which I might break out. A couple of larger ones here which I've will use for the rough marks around. Don't want to be too fussy. Um, got plenty of colours out. Mm. Yeah, got a big lump of white there. So if I go to some background and I might like swap palettes. Um, yeah. It's the interesting thing about working from an iPad is it's lit. Um, so of course it's very different to what is happening with paint, but I want to get some of that glow. Um, and that's quite important. So I might start off by darkening this whole thing down and then pulling some lights out of it. Yeah, let's see what happens if I do that. It's quite rare that you see me do horribly risky 
scary things like this, but that isn't the young four yards. That's me thinking I was all prepared. Oh, here it is. I'm not prepared. Check me out. Okay. I'm going to mix up a dark colour on here. Um, yeah, I'll hold it here so you can see. It's just using what paint is left. So there's some more umber there. Let's chuck that on here. Let's have a whole chunk of blue. And just introduce as much raw umber to it. Put some of that back over here. I don't need all that. I want this to be bluer, really. Maybe even a bit greener. Yeah, let's take a bit of this. Is that too much? And, um, do the old trick of actually pouring oil onto the palette. They don't do very often. You don't want to mix that up. Try out a bit on a dark bit. There, not thin enough. That's pretty close. I'm just going to leave that there. Got another brush. I'm just going to wash the surface with some white spirit. Oh, that's there. Um, this is really just to, to make sure there's a surface that will take the oil. Just giving it a wash, because otherwise it can all sort of separate on the surface if the oil's too thick. Then, uh, yeah, like, um, like water on a Mac, it can sort of feed up. So that's thoroughly dry, none of the paint's lifting. That's a good ground for me to work on. Um, I'll put a bit more oil in that pot for dipping. Let's go back to this. This should flow a bit more easily now. Let's put a bit more shadow in there. Let's just buff that back and see how, how much I can bring that back. Oh, quite a bit. So I'm going to pull all these shadows out. Drastic. It kind of is, I guess. Uh, shadows down at the bottom of the face here. Too. 
color will survive through it. A bit denser there. dab of oil, make it slightly thinner, mix to one side. Yeah, all in here. And all in there. All in there. blue here. I could brown that a bit more. I've got to really concentrate on what the image wants, not what the photo tells me I should or shouldn't be doing. So yeah, that looks, <laughs> that looks drastic, doesn't it? Um, I'm going to keep that brush alive for a minute. surface that I can work into. Drastic, doesn't it? What's the reaction to that? <laughs> um, yes, my, I would, well, it depends. Um, I like to do one sitting paintings because it, I don't get the same chance to ruin it, really. That's, that's all there is to it. But if I'm considered and controlled and I've got time and, you know, then... Uh, then sometimes several sittings is a nice way to work. The more sittings you have, the longer it takes, the harder it is to know when it's, when it's done, if that makes sense. So, uh, that's something you've got working against you. Now I'm gonna take a big brush here. I'm gonna transfer this to the original palette. I'm gonna take some of that really dark paint here. Add a bit more oil to it so it's really clear and see through. Um, add a whole chunk of alizarin into that, really warm that up. And now, when I put that in areas like this, we can really see how warm it is. And actually, we can get some into the eyes there as well. Um, and grip around the hand, that shadow of the neck direction around here, that shadow of the forehead, even under the hair, I think we could warm that up a bit. No, that's too much. So I'm not thinking about the actual painting here, I'm just thinking about balancing colour. And so that's where, that's where all my warms are. So I'll put those in there. And so I was saying before about sort of this area of warmth here, those clasped hands kind of relate to it. Maybe this sort of angle at the bottom, which is like the bottom of that heart shape. We've got some ideas here as well. Other than that, I'm not going to do too much with that. Maybe sort of frame the face. Here is some warmth. So there is a, a, a 
person in there. Hmm. And that's that's where all the warmth is, so all the sort of humanness is going to be in that bit. I'm going to let that sit for a moment and then just sort of push it back a little. There you are. So now I can see the drawing and the areas that I made last week. If I decide I've overdone any of this, I really can just wash it off. Yeah, and put a bit into there as well. All this sort of band going around. Maybe just the border of that shadow. Um, I love doing this in classes because everyone panics. <laughs> Oh my god, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, don't know how to do that. Once this is all softened back, we've got this We've got this area of warmth that travels around. It's sort of in there, isn't it? Anyway, all that fussy stuff will come later. A certain amount of fear and panic. Uh, that is induced when you do things like completely smother the whole area like that. Um, notice there's a sort of, well, I don't know how well you can tell, but there's a certain kind of a greeny tint to the, the glaze up here. And so it's creating a contrast with the warmth. Um, and I don't think I've gone far enough, to be honest, I think there's all of this stuff over here, it's like all this information, it's sort of, it's bother, it's weight, it's, it's jarring, it's interfering, it's sort of, in some ways, it's doors and what have you. It's probably like a weird, I don't know, I don't know if nightmarish or what the word would be, but it's a rather surreal, artificial world that's around you. And I think this sort of, this fuzziness, I want us to feel like we're in, in behind that visor a little bit. So there's all these sort of structures, but I want it to be all quite ghostly. Um, yeah, uh, sometimes I'll do a picture and I, I want it to be nice. Um, Sometimes uh, that's just not going to happen. And I want some nice qualities to this, but I want it to have more 
when you look up close, I want it to reveal something else. Well, well, we'll see how that plays out. Leave that brush there. And I think I might go straight into the faces and try and pull out those lights. I've got these colours from last week here. And that's about here on the palette. I don't know how well you can see that. But around, that's where we are. There. You can see my finger pointing just at the bottom there. This, um, this colour is, um, is about as bright as the paint will go. And I want that to have the same effect as that glowing brightness coming out. So I'm going to do something which I, I generally teach people not to do. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, there's more than one way around this. I'm going to pick up some white here. Slightly yellowy kind of highlight. I'll add some some white, some yellow there, and that's an added in colour. Go into this, and this is about as bright as I want to be going, leaving room for that shiny highlight. So this area of the head here, and I'm comfortable with that going in. See how bright that looks now. Which means I can go even further with this. This is quite pinky here. So where does that belong? There's a slab and there's a slab. And there's a bit. I just need to be quite slow and precise about this. Okay, so I've got a paler, almost sort of greener colour. We can do a bit more of this. I'm going to borrow a tiny little bit of that dark glaze to go in. And into here. I can exaggerate some of these colours as I go along as well. And it goes into here. And this is what I was talking about before. It gives us that shape and that also gives us the crease of the eyebrow, which is going to help form the smile. I'm going to look for everywhere else that goes, and there's some in the cheek here. Am I confident I know where that is? Yeah, I think so. What about in the nose? There is some in the nose. So the light in this image is starting to appear. So I'm seeing some other colours I can include now. I don't want to get too carried away. I'm actually going to do a green one just over here. That's going to go there. Oh, that's interesting. Where else can I see that? No, yes, no. And the beard as it sticks out. And so I can start to piece together these, yeah, there's a bit in there. I can start to piece together these slabs of paint. I don't see anywhere else. Now I want. Okay. Oh, there's a whole bit. Uh, I want to do both of the faces together. 
but these are the very lightest bits. And now I've got those light bits, I've got my shadows, I can start to piece in the bits in between and get to the subtleties right away. Um, where else is this going to go? Um, actually, I'm going to put a whole bit in that. side of that elbow. These lights will hopefully kind of pop up as they go and I can work from light to dark and from stronger colours to weaker colours as well which is sort of more natural with the paint. It's more effort for your brain but um, at least that's how that works isn't it? Okay. Slightly darker, slightly pinker. What's that going to do? It's going to go in here. This is going to go in there. Oh. So we're going to have to get a few brushes on the go here as well, I think. So we're going to use the two um, fours for uh, flesh tones. And I've got a couple of threes. Oh, no, twos, which I'm going to use for um, the sort of the stronger, more abstract colours. So, for example, with this one here, there's a purpley colour that relates to that red colour. If I take some of that and then just add bloom to it, I'm going to keep it quite crisp. And I've gone way too far too soon. And that was terrible. So I went my way back again. Actually, totally, it's not too different. Let's see what it does. That's interesting. Now, this is where I should be able to see that as well. Now, that's all dark over there. Maybe under the eye. Okay, what about in here? some of the reflected colours off here. Go across to that green, let them mix together a little bit. And we've got this sort of knuckle shape there. So hopefully now we're starting to describe the hand. Maybe a bit over the top. Um, oh, I've got the yellow a bit. Teeth. Yes, it is. Um, where else can I see that? Ah, oh, back to the purpley one. There's a lighter purpley one just here. Yeah, that's nice. But really, really subtle. And then back to the green one over there. It's really going to define the edge of his head. I've got reflected colours behind here, but they're all darker. I've got back to some of my warm colours, which are a bit more orange. No, what's that? What the hell? How did that happen? Put a side of that in, see what it was. No? Okay, I'm going to stick with the others are in here. Now I need to make another mix. Okay. 
Yeah, I was joking. Okay, now I can do a lighter version of that. So that, that dark behind is sort of, I mean, it's making it a bit menacing almost. The purpley version behind here. Um, that works for the raised cheek behind the glasses. So the lights in the eyes are going to be one of the last things to come along. Similarly here. So there's a bit more of a sense of a glow um, already perceptible. my way into the neutral colours already which is probably a bit soon. Now that eyelid there is lower as a change in the drawing. That lower lid is also lower. That one needs to be pinker. So while I've still got this colour actually that is good for the white of the eye. So can we go over here? That's kind of what I use for the teeth, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so it's a bit bizarre and creepy at this stage, but it will, I promise you, make sense. Yeah, let's bring that in a bit. Now he's pointing at us. Oh, echoing. I think it's having more than one, um, more than one microphone going on. Uh, it's creating a bit of a delay. Let's see if I bring this one over, it might reduce it. Come on, yeah, you do. There. Is that better? Let's see if that's less echoey than before. these blues. I'm going to stick with the number two. Get that yellow, get that pink. A bit of blue in it. Well, that should give me some interesting lights. Also draws the edge of the glasses there. Which is also a bit like that. No. Hmm, 
interesting how with glasses as well, make a shadow area. Before I go here, let's come back to that. Let's see if I can find some of those shapes. A bit of cheek here. This definitely all wants to lighten up. Um, so these um. There will be a certain amount of mixing on the surface because of the, uh, okay, definitely a darker one here. Go into the red. Um, it does give me a bit more leeway. Yeah, like here. I've left a certain amount of oil on the surface as a result. Oh. Yeah, no, I want to really borrow some warmth that side. Actually, it can get quite a bit darker. Yeah. I'm just going to borrow that nowhere really. Balance it up a bit on the other side. That blue there. Yeah, now I could overthink all this. That needs to be pinker. Let's go back to this again. Yeah. There's some really interesting relationships of uh of lights, lights and darks and colours in here. Where else is this going to go? And so the shine is partly obscuring what's going on in the face here. So oh, just found some more blue. That's interesting. That purpley colour also lives there. That helps with the bulge of the cheek. Let's pop a bit in there as well, see if we can get away with it. And in here. Yes. How old? And over here as well. Ah, now I've rather started to forget about other areas. Oh, it definitely belongs over here. And in that shadow on the hand. In there and in the edge of that mark there, which blends into it rather nicely. Hmm. Right, now going back to that eye, I do want a warmer colour. Let's 
that's going to give me this edge there, that shadow there. Shadow, which means that whole bit needs to get lighter. Which I think will happen here. as it goes, it also goes under there just to be sneaky. Is that too much? Nah. There is a whole rainbow of colours in the, in the face behind the mask, but um, I'm going to bring that back now. First is whites of the eyes, which are actually a kind of a pink colour. And it's the gaze, I want to see the gaze, which means I might have to go several times to really get the eyes doing their thing. And then I'll build the eyelids around it. You know what, there's a weird kind of reflection in the middle of that. No way of telling what colour someone's eyes are, but I'm going with brown here. Because that's what I'm seeing. It's quite reddish. to that eyebrow there. Slope down at the corner of the eye there. And keep that soft. Okay. If we go back to this. Is that too light or is that going to build in the lower lid happily for us? I think it is. Yeah, because that needs to catch all the way up to there. And actually be the shadow of the side of the nose. Hmm. Let me go back to my pink and lighten it slightly. Still got some of that yellowy light I mixed earlier. Again, I've got a deeper shadow down there. A higher lower lid. Which again is all this kind of pinky shadow. Those strong highlights are going to uh, get rid of that, but we've got some eyes now. Um, back to this yellow, we put in the highlight of the upper lid there. The lower lid here. Okay, back to my blues and my purples. Let's go back over here and let's make a mix that is sympathetic to the fresh part of the right.
the bulge of the cheek which gives us this a big part of the smile very back to the peachy colour which would be all out here down to here yeah oh Right, you asked behind the mask that terrified and traumatised. I don't know how much that was deliberate. <laughs> yes, the chaos is fun, isn't it? Um, right, I'm just going to adjust the cameras because this is giving a very bad representation of what's actually happening. See if I can go back to here. Um, yeah, so actually, there's a bit more about what's going on. Actually, do an auto. So this is about capturing a moment, and um, I think I've had some kind of a nightmarish vision, which I know wasn't intentional. Um, but yeah, you'd be surprised how much you can get away with. Yeah, I'll show you. If I've overdone this greyness over here, well, just wipe it off again. And I talked about making this area of life around them before, but well, now's probably a good time to do that. Let's bring that back. sort of soften some of these marks in now. They all kind of meet in the middle. Move a lot of that light around. That's going to travel all the way across here, soften down with a bit of highlight over there. Joined together. Then, once the glasses are in, it should make a lot more sense. That is not wide enough. I've made a glaring error. Shocker. <laughs> now, that's a, that's a bit softer already. Uh, same with these shadows here, so creases. In the um, in the forehead and stuff. <laughs> oh, 
What am I doing for time? I completely lost track there. Hey. <laughs> yeah, so it might look to you like I'm making a proper pig's ear of this at the moment. Um, but paintings can very often go through an ugly stage. And um, yeah, this is going through its ugly stage. Bit more of a squint on those eyes behind the mask. This red has to be a reason for it. Not dark enough. No, it's just completely blue. <laughs> some of those warm colours from over here. And a few of the really quite light ones. Just for a few little flashes of highlights. There we go. Let's move that up here. Oh, where was it? Oh yeah, over here. simple. Mm. Not a hundred percent convinced about that eyebrow. No, she had a bit of a smile on. It's all the creases around the eyes, and that's what's going to carry it. We go from the inside of the eye outwards. Make it redder than you'd think. Temptation to overfit or resist. <laughs> okay, I can see her now. We'll give a bit more of a sense, a bit more light up there. We'll give be a bit like a raised eyebrow, which will hopefully give a bit more sort of 
life and brightness to it because there's one eye frowning and there's one eye which is sort of a bit mildly amused by the, uh, the hug. Now, all right, I've been going an hour already. Time for me to have a little break in, in a minute. That's it. Oh, hang on. I'm not going to touch that. I nearly fiddled with it. Make a good laugh and straight away. <laughs> I'm somehow get in there and ruin it. Yeah, right. Lift up that lower lid. That's what's going to give it the sense of being a little bit squinty. Also means I can get a bit of colour in there. I'm going to go with a slightly pinker version. Just lift that up here. Yes, okay. That looks like someone who's happy to be getting their hug. one should have been like. Oh, what the hell are you doing, really? Not really mean. No, 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 no! Right, let's try this again. Direct gaze, which means that highlight needs to be in the middle. Okay. The same with over here. This is all too. Oh, it's still light. It's really weird. You, you see a dark colour on the. Uh, on the palette, you go to put it on the surface. There you are. Definitely going to make a shadow version here. No, 
that's too low down. His glasses. That's the edge of the head there. Lift up the front of the ear, which all agrees. Hooray! Okay, a short break I think. Once those glasses are in, that's gonna work. So I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do the nose, some of these lights around the upper lip and that kind of thing. Um, I might put some sort of cleaner, fresher color paint around the background. Certainly these greens have got to come right up, so that will be able to go somewhere. I'll have to show you that now. Because that goes almost white. Bluer than that. That's my blue. That's what's on the brush with it, white. Just for luminosity, put that on the top there, and it sits right up. And that's going to make sense with the reflection on his head there as well. You see what, what the glaze has done now, the extra lift it's given me. Then we go back in here with some blues, pick up the lights out of the shoulder, pick up the lights out of the arms. And um, yeah, hopefully that'll have them kind of glowing out of the canvas. I still haven't got as far as the highlight on the, on the head and that kind of stuff. So yeah, see if I can do that next. Hey, hi Jason. Yeah, back in a couple of minutes.
Hey, back again. I can kind of see this fresh now. So I'm going, get, I'm going to get these faces in first. I think that's sort of really important to do that right. Uh, what? Okay. Yeah, they're not right. The eyes aren't right. On the, oh no, the nose is too thin. So now it's going to be time for deliberate well-mixed slabs of paint that are going to establish this focal area. Then I've got my journey and I've got this rather sort of staccato, I don't know what you'd call it, so the harshness of the environment that this is all happening within. Um, so yeah, this dark red colour and with that I can establish where the edges of the glasses are. There's an edge of some glasses. What about over here? Same over here. comes down to the point of the eye. Um, the shadow underneath the bottom edge of the glasses. Under here. The whole orange shape. Right. to get that pinky light in again. So I'm going to go a light and a dark brush now and I'm going to go warm to cool. I'm going to start with the warm colours. This is my light brush warm colours. Let's see if that does it. I think it does. Um, it's not warm enough though. It needs to be a bit more crimson. I might introduce some of this naphthol red as well. It's a lovely warm red. Let's bring that in. Yeah. That works. I need a shadow colour now. That shadow colour is also very red and quite a bit darker. So I'm going to use some alizarin crimson in that. Is that too strong of a red? No, it works for that. And then a slightly lighter version just next to it. Which will do for that slant of that shadow that comes across with the glasses. That's softer. Mm. There's a whole area of light there, but it's purpley. Let's do some of that purpley light. I always pick up too much, too much blue. Let's see how that does. Do the shape here. That works. It also comes in here. And it also travels up there.
the inside of the glasses shape. Okay, what else have I got? Got a softer one with it. Which goes on the inside of here. No, it's redder than that. How much ready can I get away with? Yeah, it's inside into the nose. Okay, I'm going to look for all the places this colour goes because I've been waiting for this colour. the glasses and that crease under the eye it's going to travel sideways hmm start to see him now right about around the mouth there's a, a red shape under there Saturate that a little bit in the middle of the bottom lip. A bit of the chin here. So the shadow of the neck. Okay. Let's bring a bit more in here. That eye is good. I'm going to base everything off that eye. Go back into my lights. Yeah, very pale, very pinky. And that shape of the nose across. And it's a softer edge. And that light comes down as well. Actually, those eyes are okay. Okay with them. Um, go back into that greeny one. So this this is me at my most uh, engrossed. I guess I'm actually resting my hand now. I almost never do that, and it didn't really help. It was a stupid thing to do then. What was I thinking? <laughs> small round that's a vertical line if I get that right that will absolutely do a job over here there's a seriousness to that eye The shadow there. We're going to see that in the end anyway. Let's go back to my red. Let's see how much further that can extend down here. Right, so I'm back to this slightly more orangey colour. That's going to give me the edge of the nose. There. Let's do the whole of that shape of the nose. That 
that's the purpley bit, I'll come back to that. And then a pinker version just underneath it. Really simple slab there. Yes, pinker. Here and round here, and then it's yellower, but also darker. Need that dark. Oh, I had a dark brush, didn't I? It's this one. It stays quiet really in there. That decrease. Same as in here. And the inside of the mouth. Yes, this is getting quite involved now. That's going to, yeah, okay. That's going to give me that shadow there, which travels all the way up to that corner, which is redder. Okay, that's all red. Okay, now I've got that purple colour. And here I can make it a bit more purple, but also a bit lighter. And it's going to give me a certain amount of contrast. Now that's light going on top, that shadow's further down. Mm, I'll come back to that. Um, on this side, there's a whole shape there. And under here. It's all those greys really, aren't they? Those beard shapes. So some of the lights of the moustache have got to come in. Some more teeth shapes. Let's see if this works. Yep. That would also do for the inside of that eye, which is slightly a shadow. Again, I'm steadying my hand. There we are. It kind of comes to life a bit, doesn't it? Okay, back to my lights. Let's put some of these in. I've got one there, that's nice. So 
that travels into here. It's mixing on the surface now, but I'm okay with that. There's that shape there. A bit of that light in there. Let's go back to the neck. The whole shape of the light there. Colors. There's some. There's some in there. This is all ear here. here. That's a, oh, that's a whole bit there. That creates that contrast in the other part. Back to my reds up at the top. Some more of those pinks in. This green colour here, mix that with some light, mix it with some of that flesh colour, and we should have a sort of a weird greeny highlight to go around the other side of the nose and see if that works. Yeah. yeah it does. bluish shadows. Now that's going to be a reddish shadow. These bluish ones go in here. And in here. And yeah, even darker and even redder. towards the dark darks now which is sort of almost like a separate part of the whole process so there's one there's one corner of the mouth now I know it's happening and these are very red these uh, these dark shapes I don't want to go any further with this face chin. Ah, here we've got a lovely thing going on here. Right, this is fun. I've got a nice light greeny highlight here. That creates the edge of the face there. But then, Got this gap. Got this thing that happens with the glasses. When they come in, the edge of the face there is further out. So 
that this slightly mixed sort of surface, this you know, the wet paint is giving me a, a bit of leeway here in terms of how I uh, how I work my way towards the highlights. Uh, because I can put the highlights on afterwards and this sort of mixes in but it's still giving me where the edges of the glasses are uh, I can work a few shadows up as well and I think I'll do those first, they need to be a bit softer but the other thing I can do is Partly that greeny light, partly the fresh colour, and really the whole separate outside edge there. Still not got the edge of the dark dots. No, I just automatically mixed my version of black there. Uh, but it needs to be I have a lot more red in it. Actually, that corner's already in just the right place. What's wrong with the shape right underneath it? Which is okay, actually, I can just work the paint that's already there. Change the shape of that. Uh, yeah. It's the same thing in here. Oh yes, that was it. Uh, I was going to work my way back to that slightly greener, pale highlight in the nose, which is here. So just about that shadow. That's too green. I think I'll just work into what's there. And it follows around underneath the glasses. That's rather fun, actually. Um, it's guiding me towards other things as well. This highlight on the nose here. Oh dear, that's awful. No, that's not it at all. What am I thinking? Oh, I got sloppy. got sloppy and went too quick and... It's uh, not what I want. All the pieces are in the right place, but they're not doing quite the right job. Yeah. Hopefully they're starting to sort of show through anyway, there's a glow. I did wonder whether I should leave this a week before I came back to it. Probably should have finished it the next day in retrospect, but it's easy to see these things in retrospect, isn't it? Just going to see if anyone's uh, following on YouTube. There we are. Checking comments and things. I don't know if you to say to them too. Design. Yeah. Right. I'm going to go back to this. I don't know where I 
shape in there. This shape should be higher up. Am I am I obsessing? Am I trying too hard here? It's interesting this whole painting business. It's all about the questions you ask yourself. Okay, I'm going to go into something a bit different. Look at those highlights and the moustache to bring in. I don't want to be too light, just enough. There you are, that's enough. Keep spotting other things and then trying to do it with the colour that's already on the brush. Yes. Utterly idiotic. They are subtle, subtle, subtle. Good. Okay, let's do a few actual highlights. Go on there. Bit of one there. Okay. Good, good. Yeah, okay. White. It's going to have a completely different rather sort of greeny effect, but that's kind of what I want here. Let's the top of that. Good. A reflection there. Good. Off the top of the ear. Lovely. Good side of the air, little highlight. I work for the green man here. Yes. No, this is good for these highlights. That's. It's hard to pick out what's a highlight on the face and what's a highlight on the mask. I could just paint directly what I see, but. It would rather distract, I think, from yeah, from the overall no, that's enough. That's enough with that. And also I got a bit carried away, forgot about the arms. How about the um uh, let's get the hair in and stuff like that. Oh yes, yeah, so I've got a ton more to do on this it turns out. Do what I can also do is lighten up just those front teeth a little bit. Specifically that one. Oh god, what did I do? That 
not painting individual teeth is absolutely vital if you want the image of the teeth to work. Similarly, I'm going to need to bring some of that shadow back. Give those highlights back into the moustache. Okay, well, I've got those greedy highlights. Place that one in the right place. That's better. Sure, I'm not sure if I've got them. Maybe a few slightly heavier shadows. Go back to this as I think. I can see him. I can see him there. That's okay. That's okay. Just bring that in a little bit. Change with the glasses. That will that will do nicely. Um. Okay. I'll make a lighter blue over here. See if I can use it to. Uh, Cheats in a few of these stripes. Yeah, because in the shadows, this sort of more ultramarine and less green. Something about the nose. It's... Mm. I don't know what it is. It's to do with the extension of these shapes around here and also how they sit under the shadow of the glasses. Yeah. Let's not forget the 
sides of the ear. that bright good uh, I'm exhausting myself here side of the glass is there, which would account for something. This might be a, th a three sitting job, this one. But I'll bring this, uh, I'll bring this around just so you can see. I don't know if I'll do any more tonight. I'm gonna have, have a moment and decide. Hopefully if I bring this in front, you can get a pretty good idea as to whether you Take this filter off the front as well, see if that helps. Might just make the whole thing really shiny. Is it just is it just a giant reflection now? No, that's pretty good. Uh, that's there's not a lot of colours though. I mean, those colours are totally different. Let me see if I can shift it in there. Yes, well, I suppose that, that brings me on to my uh, last thing I wanted to mention today, <laughs> which is um, I'm. Uh, oh. Yeah, I, I'm going to be having a look at getting some better gear. I've been tricking a Mac Mini into um, <laughs> into uh, uh, doing all this live stream business, the multi cameras and all that kind of thing. Um, but it has real trouble, and I'd really like to record them and put higher quality um, videos out there where everything's a bit clearer. Um, so I'm going to do a, a bit of a, a bit of a fundraiser, um, and because uh, I, yeah, well, I worked I worked out if I want to do it properly, I need to spend about seven thousand pounds, which is terrifying, really. But um, uh, I figured, what if I did a massive uh, auction, uh, a silent auction or blind auction, sealed auction? That's the one. Um, so I put a picture up um, every day for uh, 25 days or something, 25 pictures, and uh, people could just put a bid in of uh, what they'd be prepared to pay for it, whatever it might be. And, um, and at the end of it, the highest bid has the best chance of getting it. I mean, obviously, uh, I wouldn't entertain single figures, but anything after that's got a chance, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so I've got I've got lots of paintings, you know, that um, 
the ones that don't get snapped up right away and I kind of forget about them, they go onto a rack and, um, and quite a range of different sort of sizes and styles and qualities as well I suppose. So um, the idea is to have a, um, it would be on Instagram and Facebook and on my website. Um, so if you saw a picture you liked, you could go, you know what, I've paid so and so for that. Um, and um, you wouldn't have to worry about insulting me, which I think people seem to. And it's one of those things, I think, because there's such a huge variety of the, the, the price of art and it's, um, it's become a bit of a sort of a vehicle for uh, wealthy, influential con men over the years. Um, that it's a, it's a bit of a bewildering thing. And I think also there's no way of knowing how long something took someone um, or what the value is to them. So it's, you know, it's not, it's not easy to work out. It's not easy to have a good guess of what you'd expect to pay. Um, so, uh, so I figured I'd let other people decide. Um, so if I did that, uh, to 25 days, that's the plan, 25 paintings and, um, and at the end, and they'll all be on the website as well, so you can have a peruse through, see if there's a particular one you like that you think warrants well, double figures. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, um, hopefully that will raise a bit of money. So do spread the word if you, you know, if you know anyone who'd be interested in that kind of thing. Um, you know what, I might, I might finish this off tomorrow night. I might do an impromptu live stream tomorrow night. Because uh, it doesn't seem to make much difference when I do it anyway. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I've, I've got, I feel like I've got the feel of this. I've got the personalities and that's the thing that's important to me. Um, do bear in mind that the image you're looking at is rather different to the image I'm looking at. I've rotated my lenses so slightly. Um, and so... Uh, yeah, and, I, and I've exaggerated that, that hug. I've made it a bit more compacted. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a start, isn't it? So hopefully, if, uh, if the auction idea takes off, uh, and I can sell a few more things that go beyond like, putting food in my mouth, I can do the big investment and... Um, Hopefully we could have some HD streams coming your way, uh, which would be, you know, uh, I don't know if I'd be able to stream in HD. I think that'd be a bit of a tax on other people's systems, but the, um, yeah, the notion of having, uh, uh, having recording it at the same time, which my present machine won't do without melting. Um, <laughs> but it can't, it can't do both at the same time. So if I could record them, and, you know, there was a, a high definition version up there, then I could do a few edits here and there as well, and hopefully, um, yeah, hopefully make something of that. Hmm. This is pretty close. It's pretty close, but I feel like I'm, I'm definitely going to need another sitting, so this is a good time to draw a line. So I think I'm going to come back and have a go at this tomorrow. I'm going to bring up the lights of uh, the gown and the, the scrubs. I'm going to work some thicker paint into these toners, which was all too light before. So it'll be a bit cleaner, but also, you know, cleaner colour, but fuzzier marks. Um, you know, try and get the angular thing going on and then a few little things like the reflections on here, the mask, a sort of a, a bit more beefiness to the hands, you know, so that's sort of, they're a bit more solid. Uh, the glasses and the hair and I think that's that would be pretty much it. Uh, so yeah, um, Fingers crossed I don't bodge it completely. But uh, just, just out of interest. If 
the glaze I put on at the beginning. It felt like I was sort of taking a big chance, but it just washes straight off. Uh, so I could go back to that. But I don't think I will. because when the extra colour goes on top, it will really lift it. I don't know if I photographed this before. Oh well. so much for joining me. Uh, it's been lovely to have you all here in the studio. And um, yes, I very much uh, look forward to uh, seeing you tomorrow night if you fancy it and you might have something more important to do. Um, yeah, I know I haven't so, <laughs> so I'll be here and I think I might try and get this done and yeah, yeah, make it work. I'm starting to get too fiddly tonight, but um, up close, it's still it's still pretty pretty loose. Let's have a little look. Very simple marks there. Not an awful lot to it. Um, it's more about the cumulative effect at a distance. So that's what I've been concentrating on here. Yeah. Well, thanks again. Thanks for joining me. And uh, I'll maybe see you tomorrow night or next week. I'll be back and I'll be starting something new on Monday. Uh, and I don't think it'll be another NHS thing. I'm going to do more, but. Um, I think it's time. It's time for a little experiment. I'll give you a little uh, a little glimpse of what might be coming there at the other end of the studio. You can see. Uh, actually, you can't. I'm going to take take you on a little journey. Okay, introducing a BBC documentary now. Dear. Okay, everything's all tangled. That improved it somewhat. Right. Check that I'll come back round for it. Constantly have the same lighting in the studio the, the whole you know the whole time. So day or night, I can keep working on the same still light. So I have a selection of glassware, which um, which makes some quite nice images. <laughs> so I might be working on something like that and seeing what I can pull out of that. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, outstanding eyes, that's good. <laughs> yeah, so that's, so that's what's coming. Uh, any any requests or suggestions of things people might like to see me attempt um, in the normal style without a safety net, then uh, don't be afraid to suggest something, and I'll certainly consider it. Uh, but in the meantime, Thanks very much for coming. I'll see you tomorrow or next week. Bye.